you never know what you're going to get here on these auctions. And in this case, the Bill Wilson collection was full of absolute surprises all day long, riveted by numbers that blew our minds. Absolutely. We sold yesterday beginning at 9 a.m. and again today. And the reality is there were results in every category in his collection that Miller & Miller and the consigner are proud of. Can't wait to tell you about all of them. Number five. It's the Canadian Northern Express flange sign, 2750. Own the best today, 25, 2750, worth every single penny. Congrats on that one, I think you did well. Bill Wilson's collection contained a lot of great railroad signs, signs that would have been on the stations all around here in Canada. One of them, a rare sign, a flange sign from the Canadian Northern Express Company, sold for over 4,000 with buyer's premium. Number four. Here's a great piece, the stamped Lunenburg Foundry from Nova Scotia. It's a ship's wheel and a great one at 35 and then 37 and a half are we all through and done. Sold it right there at 3,500, well done. Lot 548 is related to something that we can all relate to and that is the Canadian dime. Take a look on the back of the Canadian dime and you'll see that blue nose schooner. Well, let's take that a step further and let's move to the lot that blew us all away. Of course, the famous Nova Scotia ship's wheel that was on a ship like the Blue Nose. That sold for close to 5,000 with premium. Number three. Ah, uh, here we are, lot number 142. I've got to run, we're at 3750 and I've got you on 7400 asking for 4,000 please. Sold it there, 3750. Well done, great piece. Well, lot 142 was very close to home for us at Miller & Miller Auctions. 15 minutes from us is a place called Waterloo. And in that Waterloo is a famous brewery, the Kuntz Brewery. There was a lithograph in Bill's sale that sold for close to 5,000 with premium. Number two. 767, the CN locomotive number plate 6057. At 9510, it's the crown, it's the king. And at 11,000, it should be crowned victorious. <laughs> Sold right there at 12,000. That's a hand clapper there for you, folks. Lot 767 was a royal flush, and I mean it. Couldn't believe this number plate. It blew our minds. This number plate belonged on the Coronation Train, an historic plate that brought close to 15,000 with buyer's premium. Number one. 868 coming along here, Collingwood Shipbuilding Co. at 10,000, 11,000. The symbolic beauty of a piece like this goes far deeper than the brass and the bronze sold it at 13,000 and I thank you very much for that exciting moment. Bill Wilson's collection featured a very nice variety of builder's plates. These are tags that went on machines, basically the birth certificate for the unit itself. One of the exciting ones was lot number 868 and it was the builder plate for the SS Peely, a ship made by the Collingwood Shipbuilding Company. It hammered out nearly at $17,000 with buyer's premium. So there you have it, the Bill Wilson collection, two full days, close to a thousand lots. This was one collector, and that is why we at Miller & Miller exist, to serve the collector community and to bring to the market collections like Bill Wilson's. Absolutely, Bill Wilson's collection was unique in the fact that it contained multiple categories of items. Of course, his main focus was railroad, but when you look closely, you see that he had these nice pockets of Bruriana and other great Canadian advertising. Miller & Miller specializes in all of that, and the unique flavor that made this sale will make your collection when you bring it here to Miller & Miller Auctions. Absolutely, we totally exist to serve you, whether you're loyal to Petroliana, Railroadiana, Breweriana, or anything else that would be of prime historic interest to Canadians. We sell it and we exist to serve you and we can't wait 